Hello, I'm Officer Jody from the Titanic Museum attraction in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Today, we pay tribute to the 2,208 passengers and crew on the RMS Titanic with a special musical original performance featuring Seymour High School Choir and the Crown College Chamber Orchestra. On April 10th, 1912, 111 years ago, Titanic set sail on her maiden voyage, and it was smooth sailing until the night of the fifth day when we heard those now famous words, Iceberg right ahead. 37 seconds later, we struck the iceberg, and in two hours and 40 minutes, the Titanic was gone. Performing today is the Seymour High School Choir, directed by Miss Andrea Gant, and the Crown College Chamber Orchestra, directed by Professor Danny Griffin. And now it is my honor to present a musical tribute to the RMS Titanic, her passengers, and her crew. Welcome aboard.
One of the most popular traditional pieces to ever originate from the Celtic lands of Scotland and Ireland is the parting glass. It's arguably one of the most popular parting songs of all time. Despite the topic matter, it's not an inherently sad song. Rather, it is an acknowledgement that friends will meet again and that the departure is only temporary. The parting glass has history in gatherings in the Celtic lands. At the end of gatherings, friends typically sing songs, and the gathering typically provides guests with a drink as they're leaving. The protagonist of the song knows that it is time to gently rise and leave the jolly company of his friends behind. He asks that a glass be filled in his departure and gives the blessing, good night, and joy be with you all. The parting glass is an important traditional piece and perhaps always will be. Still With Thee, arranged by Elaine Hagenberg, is a contemporary setting of a hymn that was first published in 1855. It was penned in the summer of 1853 while the author was visiting the home of a friend. It resulted from her experiences of meditation while walking in the early morning hours, hearing the birds, and seeing the dawn break. This hymn expresses the confidence of God's presence in the lives of His children and is filled with the desire to be with the Lord in every activity of life. This is the only hymn by Harriet Beecher Stowe to survive in common use. However, it is agreed by hymnologists that due to sheer poetic beauty, it is one of the most outstanding hymns of all time. Still With Thee helps us to trust and know that we are never alone.
Hello, I'm Officer Danny Griffin. I'm going to tell you a story about John Newton, who was a vile and wicked man. In, in addition, he was a slave trader, and so there, no, people just don't get much worse than that. Well, there was a time in his life that uh, he had a transformational experience. Um, he had an experience with God. And he had such a transformation that he wrote the words, Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found. I was blind, but now I see. And interestingly enough, the tune that we're going to be playing came from the slaves singing in the hold of the ship. What wondrous love is this was a favorite of many people during the time of the Titanic. Um, and the question is, where was it written and who wrote it? And the answer is, no one knows. But we do know this fact, that it was in many of the hymnals during those days, and the people who were on the Titanic, many of them sang that song.
are both starting and finishing this program with Nearer My God to Thee. You will be hearing this song on actual instruments that existed during the day. This piano, for instance, is 117 years old. One cello is here is more than 100 years old and another violin is 150 years old. So you will not only be hearing the song, but you will also be hearing the sounds that the people heard as they were perishing on the Titanic. So now we present, Nearer My God to Thee. Mm -hmm. 